All righty. We can start whenever you're ready, John. Yep. Okay. Um, today we're going to look at a demo with um, some things that indicate how acidic or how basic a solution is. Uh, we have universal indicator, which we'll use, and I'll put a little bit of that in this cylinder here. And uh, we're actually going to move this one off to the side for a second. The other cylinder, we're going to use a nice natural indicator. You guys have seen red cabbage before, haven't you, in the grocery oh, store? Mm -hmm. yeah. Turns out if I can extract the, uh, the coloring from red cabbage juice, which is really purple, um, I can use that as an indicator. So what I did is I just stuck some cabbage leaves in a beaker, added distilled water, and boiled it for a little while. And I ended up extracting that pigment. So we'll go ahead and we'll pour some of that juice into this cylinder. Hopefully we'll leave the leaves behind. We might have a floaty or two in there. And to this one I want to, yeah, we do. And to this one we're gonna add some distilled water. Now, I can determine how acidic or basic a solution is based upon the color. So what I have is a little bit of hydrochloric acid here. We'll add just a drop or two, more than that, to this cylinder. And you can see wow, that uh, cabbage juice uh, turns red in acidic solutions. By the way, that might be helpful on your homework tonight. And uh, let's go ahead and add that same acid to universal indicator. Universal indicator is red in acidic solutions. Let's see what happens if we add sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, a base. It's like we get a uh, purple color, maybe? Purple Let's add a little bit more. I think it actually goes to a teal color, if we add enough. That's cool. Uh, and then to, so the, cool. to the universal indicator, we get a, looks like we get a purple color there. It's quite a bit darker. It's actually a dark purple if you had zoomed in on it. Well, to make this sort of kind of fun, I want to add an acid to both of these very slowly. Now think about this. If I add an acid to this one, what color will it turn? Red. Good, you guys remember, because cabbage juice turns red in the presence of an acid. This turns? Red. red. Universal indicator is red in the presence of an acid. The acid I'm going to add is from carbon dioxide. Turns out when carbon dioxide reacts with water, it forms carbonic acid. Well, not really. Carbonic acid's a weak acid. It breaks down into H pluses and HCO3 negatives, bicarbonate ions. Hey, anything that loses a proton, right, or donates a proton, in this case it's lost a proton, this is technically H3O plus, that thing is called an, an acid. Right? So let's go ahead and add some carbon dioxide and see what happens. And I will add it in the form of dry ice. So I'll add a chunk of dry ice to this one. It also mixes it up nicely for us, doesn't it? And we're going to go purple. And if, if I let it go long enough, it might become acidic enough to turn red. And to this one. We will also add it, and it's gone back to the red color. We, that was sort of fast, so what if I added some sodium hydroxide back to this one? Could I get it to go back to the purple color? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Sure I can. Oh, it does. Oh, Jesus, call me. Should I do that back that to the so yeah, cabbage that's juice? So cool. Cabbage juice is what color in base? So we get that tealish color. Maybe it changes back to a dark blue and, and we back can, to a purple. Yeah, we can speed this up a little bit. We'll speed up a little bit. I'll, I'll add some hydrochloric acid to both of these, and they should both go red, shouldn't they? This is a strong acid. I'm running out of room, aren't I? Okay. One more indicator that I'd like you guys to see is phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is colorless in a neutral solution or in an acidic solution. So we'll go ahead and we'll add some distilled water to my phenolphthalein mixture. And what color should the phenolphthalein be? Colorless. Colorless, okay. Colorless. There we go. And now I'll add some sodium hydroxide to it. And phenolphthalein, once it gets above a pH, just slightly higher than seven, around eight, 
it turns pink. Mm. Wow. So we get a nice pink color. Now, we don't get graduation in colors like we did with the cabbage juice or the universal indicator. We're just going to go from colorless, and if this becomes a pH that's lower than 8, right around 7, or it acidifies, what color will it be? Colorless. Colorless? Let's try it. Here's some hydrochloric acid. Oh, yes. <laughs> now we can get it to go. Could I do it another way? Now it might be more fun and exciting. Let's add some rubber base again. We'll turn it pink. And what could I add? Oh, so can I'm running out of room here. What can I add that can also acidify this? Should I do dry ice again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it. Hopefully it won't bubble over. Let's just put it along Wow. Okay. Anyway, indicators are things that change color according to pH. Turns out, once again, that cabbage juice will turn red when acidic. Universal indicator is red when acidic. When cabbage juice is basic, it turns what? Mm -hmm. uh, like a tealish color. And then when universal indicator becomes very basic, it turns a very dark purple. Phenolphthalein in acidic conditions or neutral conditions is? Clear. Clear. Colorless. Yeah. And under basic conditions, it is pink. Very good. That's good, John.